to Melissa Armo, founder, owner, the Stock Swoosh. Melissa, nice to see you. Thanks for being with us. We are right in the middle of earnings season. I know you're taking a close look at a name like Alta Beauty, which has had some run. You know, there was a point where it was just the fastest growing stock. What are your thoughts on it now? Well, it's interesting because that really did have a great run up. It was extremely bullish, but now it's sold off. It's nowhere near the highs. And when you look at Alta and you look at the market, you say, wow, this should be up near the highs if it's really strong, which many other stocks are right now. You saw Apple make new highs today. Tesla, lots of stocks are making new highs. You just talked about Hormel. BBY also made new highs today. But Alta, I think, is a better short if it gaps down this week on earnings. Now, in order for me to like it as long, I think it'd have to gap up over 260 uh, really to get a nice lift in there to move higher because it is just way too far off the highs. And maybe, quite frankly, that move up that it had was too quick, too fast, and it couldn't sustain it. But when you look at what products Ulta sells, it's first of all, they have the salons. You can go in and get your hair done. And right now, people are not going out and getting their hair professionally done because they're not really going out. And second of all, they're selling beauty products. And because, again, people aren't going out. They're not spending as much as hair on makeup. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting because, uh, you know, when we talk about makeup and those types of the margin is very good. And that was one of the reasons why people liked Ulta Beauty originally. And that may have been what propelled the stock so furiously. I mean, it was just running hot. And we have a lot of names that we're watching this week. But you're bullish on some of the bullish watches, you call them Target, Amazon and wow, Tesla's in there. Tell me about some of the names that you're bullish on and why. I really like Target. It did have a beautiful move on the earnings. I think the next target for Target is 160. And again, Target has things that everybody wants. All the cleaning supplies, you can order toilet paper, paper towels, all that stuff from Target. If you can't go into the stores or you don't feel like going into the stores, they do have the delivery and they're very competitive on the delivery times now. And so I think that stock is just going to continue to move higher. When you look at it, Again, that just made brand new all-time highs on the earnings last week, had a huge move up, and then held the gap up and continued. Again, I look at technicals, and when I look at the technicals of that stock, I say, man, this has a long way to go. And this isn't, I'm not saying soon, but I'm saying I don't think 200 is out of the woods for a target anytime in the next 6 to 12 months. I mean, it absolutely oh. could hit even that crazy number of the 200. Mm, I like that. Uh, tell me about the names that you're bearish on, which include an airline, for example. Um, tell me a little bit about that. All the things that I'm bearish on, which are the airlines, the cruise ships, uh, I'm bearish on those, even though they're getting a pop today. Those stocks are in such, such, such strong downtrends. And the problem is that even though you have more flights going on, they're still not at the capacity. They're still not at the capacity that were even a year ago because of COVID. And the cruise lines, the cruise ships, really, they're not they're not coming into New York. They're not coming to many of the places. And you say, when are these ever going to come back? I mean, could you imagine even anyone or even yourself going on a cruise right now? Who's going to do that? Until there's a vaccine, until we're through really the 80% of the thick of this, which I'm not even sure if we are at this point now with this COVID, I don't think the, that CCL or RCL are coming back anytime soon. I, I don't know why people are going on this today. It is the most ridiculous rally that I've ever quite frankly seen because this stock still can continue. And I wouldn't be shocked if it continues and breaks $10. Yeah, and they talk about the bookings that they have for 2021. So um, it's interesting. I get what you're saying, but they are saying otherwise. It's interesting. Melissa Armo, always nice to see you. Thanks for being on with us, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Melissa Armo, thank you.